the defensive side. It might be quite a bit more difficult to get some proper use out of this Reyna rather than her just diving into opening jewels. And obviously something for the future as well, uh, if we ever see that uh, that buff, but not in this tournament. Not right here, not now. Thankfully. And, and realistically, you know, it, it's, it's going to be... Well, I guess a treat to see how it's utilized moving into this one here. G2 forced on a retake. 3 HP left on Sepia, though. Still sticking that plant in a reveal perfectly placed by Petra. But they've lost control of the backside. Without the spike planted, G2 seemed to have the upper hand. And look at the spot it's dropped in. I mean, that's going to be tough for Navi to retrieve. And G2 already trying to make it difficult with some utility going in. In some spams that don't really work out to start. But healed up Giuliano now with 150 shields. Well, she's in a pretty good spot. Part of me almost wonders if it's worth Gia just playing that time a little bit. Yeah. Wait. Wait for that overheal to fade away. We give her more of a chance. She spotted Juliana. You know that swing's coming. You, you, know, you know it's coming. <laughs> the second you, you're spotted, you're ready for her to make that move. And realistically, they had to just slow themselves down. I guess so for Navi. The upside is they can come in and say, okay, this change for G2, this pick of Lorena. This is them with 100% confidence. It's Giuliano feeling it after the last game. If we shut that down, it puts them way, way behind. The problem is shutting down Giuliano hasn't been an option so far. It looks like in this round, Navi will instead avoid her. An initial duel that takes down Mary, one of the strongest players that we saw in that last game. With her down, they set their sights on A. Reinforcements are on the way, though. You see Petra coming into position now. This is a round that even with finding that opener, whether or not they'll be able to do much more. Doesn't seem like they've retrieved any weaponry that was dropped, so they don't have that benefit right at least. There. And well, I'm still going to be alone at this back corner. Has to be careful, not wanting to be made vulnerable in this position. And she is going to be able to find one already. Even things up. Art, they trade her out. Not bad. Petra up close. She's got the support of Mimi. And they've put numbers back in favor of G2. Navi with their weaker weapons. No upgrades on the remaining players. They're going to struggle to deny this defuse. Giuliano assures that with two fast kills. G2 have closed out the round. Two Bulldogs retrieved. Mimi, I think that's the best she's getting. Playing an agent which basically forces her to get aggressive and up in your face. And she was doing that anyway. And for now, a widespread net across the map for Na'Vi, expecting some level of aggression, taking slow mid control, and also making sure that they have A long ready for when they actually want to go back towards that A site. It seems like that will be the end goal with how far the spike has gone. Although Glant's already getting a decent amount of information. Might pull a rotation away, but not yet at least. Yeah, it really looks like uh, you can see G2 covering their zones at the start of this round, ready for any sort of a B play. But now that rotation comes through, they start to reinforce A, start to feel the presence in Navi. Well, maybe it was intentional. Maybe this is the design of the play as they now move to B. They still have to deal with Mimi, and we said, you know, she had that specter, dropped it over to glance for this round. And this is why she was comfortable to play with the pistol. That's the one downside, though. No chance to peek out wide and catch him on range. Gonna have to wait for that debuff to fade away. And, well, that's gonna let them get right up to the side. 30 seconds left. And now things do become a lot more difficult. It'd be interesting, because there's actually a flank from Gia. Just waiting all the way in towards mid. She's gonna hear the rotation coming around from behind. In fact... I think that's already... They're, they're focusing on that. And, and it's just being stuck. The defusal just going all the way through. Mary's just going to hold it. It doesn't matter what they do. They were so focused on killing the player behind that G2 remaining. just walked in and defused. Needing that moment to breathe. After watching that time, I almost feel like I need one. That was, <laughs> that was rough. Uh, and something that Navi will definitely be kicking themselves about around that shouldn't have been anywhere close to that. This is interesting. So, 
Dumbledore's has already gone the way of the defense, but in the meantime, G2 have already pushed all the way up A, so it's almost like they've traded out map control that realistically should be on the other side, and because the trap is currently over towards B, a lot of noise is being made on that side of the map oh. to almost sell this as a fake. That's the spike. spike That's already the spike spawn. down in the spawn under the control, and now the other players can start to re-aggress to try and support this. Got those players coming through B long as we speak. I mean, this is time limited. Navi need to go now. They've got to secure that space. They've lost Sephia. And they might just be about to lose Proxima as well. Mary with a good peek. All the noise being made inside the window. Rita, well, well expected. Look at that. Mary's just turned, put the slow down. Still, Rita wins on the slow peek. Out again for more. That was a beautiful try. But just too many bodies to take down. G2, the entire team here, the trap. Set to cover them off behind. We're going to have to break the wall on the way through. It's put down nice and early, so there's a lot of bullets needed to break it. That's getting them a ton of information. There's three or four players there. There's an ult already gone down. And they're making a lot of noise behind that wall. They're letting them think there's no one close. The flash is so good, though. Glance had no chance. Really solid position to be in. Already into the after plant. They're going to be able to fall back into some solid positions. That's the thing with this composition. It really works well in these sort of spots. Still got a snake bite. Still got the fragment. But Petra's just going to spray down three. This round was looking dead to rights in favor of Na'Vi. And just seconds later, it comes down to the one versus one. The swing, though, isn't going to connect this time. Na'Vi just about get onto the ball, but Mitch... Last player. And they got the kills to start with. To Two play. kills, Let's three play. players in an angle. What can go wrong? And then Petra just performs magic by the looks of things. That Prowler has just passed very weirdly in Proxima. <laughs> That's got to be frustrating. She might have had that kill if she didn't have to do all that trickery with the crosshair and now River's in danger trying to trade. Oh, this is going very poorly for Navi. Sephia, though, steps up to the plate. Yeah, we saw this a few times in the last map with her being able to bring some semblance to the round. Mimi's still pushing, and while she's not going to expect River to still be here, definitely started shaky, but started to balance out a little bit. The B site completely open, and well, Glance, even if she gets this kill, isn't really going to garner much from it other than the orb. She has, however, found a rifle. It can hear the steps of Gia. Oh, Glance. Not expecting her to be quite that close. In the right spot. Viper's pit available for this round as well, which could easily set back G2. They got a couple of ults on lines, but not necessarily ones that I think will play a huge part in this round, other than maybe the res. Oh, I had one HP? I, that must have been through the tiniest corner of the wall ever. And actually, Mary, she's had a bit of struggles. I, I, this hasn't gone great for her over towards art. A lot of the time getting shut down early in these rounds. But you got to feel a little bit bad for Mimi there. I, I don't know how she survived. The trap destroyed for Giuliano. I mean, that's going to slow them down. Not having the security. They're trying to poke out at this control. The Lear coming through. It's just confirming that she's still there, still close. But look how quickly she puts distance between her and that door. Setting up to defend this B site with her teammate. Take a fight out on long. And the Prowler, it's got the information. River's now trapped. Hasn't got an anchor to fall back to. I mean, it, she's not in the best of spots. But the beauty of this is that left. while she causes that slight distraction, they're hitting the A site. They're finding Mimi practically alone. Still good for one. Not the second. Welcome to my Just giving them at least a way back into this one. Ike will go down, and actually, G has fallen at the same time. 
They still have to fight into the Spiper's Pit, though. It's not going to be the easiest of retakes, especially with a really long flank coming through from River. So far away from everything else, the round could be over by the time she actually gets back. Her teammates desperately need to hold on, and Proxima has found a tiny little corner in the back that she's hidden within. Still burning that clock a little bit more and allows River to get back into position. Even still, though, the trade has come through, but she has a snake bite. She could buy that extra little bit of time. Come down to the tap. Proxima already dropping another into that one versus one. And Juliano, I don't think there's anything she can do here. Just not enough time on the clock. Great round from Proxima from within that Viper's Pit. And Navi, they continue their climb back. Yeah, these rounds might come close, but at the end of the day, doing well. Uh, keeping pace. It's a little slower, I guess, than the previous map, but that was an exceptional is it, start. Is it the Reina? 12 and 1, you know? That's, that's the thing, right? Could she have done this on any other agent? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the numbers are there, right? But this agent pick so far, what value has it specifically brought? Well, res? that's uh, weird. Res? Nice to res. What? In an eco? Uh, okay. I'm not sure I agree with that decision, but hey, I, I guess you, you got faith in your IGL. I'll, I'll give you that. Mimi, though, well, was hoping to find a little bit more with the Tour de Force, but hey, I, I think wow. Navi are really going to take that round. They only lose one player. We're ready to fight, you know, okay, but... Well, there would have only been one oh, there weapon. Been, yeah, there would have been one weapon. I don't know. Oh. I, I'm confused. Oh, this push up is nasty. <laughs> Juliano's just running and spraying. And not supposed to work like that. Full sprint. Just W keys River out of the round. Well, that's one way to start it with some aggression in towards C. They've left Mimi as the solo anchor, but we've seen that already have relative success for G2. And you, you look how Sephir is currently watching in case they continue to push all the way up. That's how aggressive G2 have been. And that's something they actually have to consider. Julian, I, 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 she's just destroying. Just runs straight back to another angle, takes another fight and another instant headshot. Okay, they're gonna get into this site with that cosmic divide giving them space, but they're gonna have to fight back with a two-player deficit. It's a great way to deal with this operator of Mimi as well. Oh, Mary, running straight into the site and getting three. That is absolutely gorgeous. And a fuse on top for the extra orb and G2 retake Lawless. their lead. Oh, yeah. wow. Why, why not use the res when you can get half the orbs back like that? Even Navi putting down the stun and she just sidesteps it coolly. Like, it's all part of the plan. Absolutely insane. Just thinking on her toes, finding all the kills in G2. Five and four in the lead, but they've lost Petra to start this one. Fade down and the A push. I mean, this there were three players pushing it. That was spotted by Navi. No doubt they want to try to take control elsewhere. They have been slowed down, though, meeting some resistance around double doors. Oh, they're still going. They're still going, and there's nobody watching this. It should be a free couple of kills. In fact, oh, it's only going to be the one. Operator will find one elsewhere on the map, but Juliano again. And just, just fighting tooth and nail. Finally, Rita will put her down, but at the cost of the majority of her HP. Teleport's ready. River has been able to take space elsewhere, and even though they've managed to kill off Juliano, you still have Mary around that corner. Yeah, and Rita's got the spike as well, so it's not as simple as getting the plant and wrapping back around. And she's got to make the choice of running past them and meeting River here or making her way all the way around. It's going to burn down a lot of the clock. Left. 30 seconds already in play and the knife has to come out and the sprint down. I mean, the clock shouldn't be too much of an issue, really. It just comes down to what's being held by Mimi. And this angle, you wouldn't imagine is going to be peaked as safe of a plant as they can get. 12 seconds still on the clock. There's time for it. That barrel's been spotted. It's been seen. Mary just holding on the peak comes in eventually. The timing is terrible. And Navi end up ahead. Rita still on 8 HP. Her third kill of the round. And it was all that was needed. A gorgeous display from Rita and from Navi to equalize. In that second half, that it may not even matter. So we're going to have a bye for both sides. And this time, Gia is taking that space a little bit more aggressively. 
maybe hearing the wall going down, but that doesn't mean G2 have stopped. They pushed all the way through R and looked to fight into mid. You oh, the trades on mid. Mary picking up another, just one away from the rest. I could come in later in the Ooh. round. Mimi already taken down. Nice peek by River. Spike retrieved by Navi, and they have choice. They have the pick of whatever site they want to go towards. Ultimate used in art with the spike moving to B. This is all an attempt to sell a ruse, and it has been sold. A complete rotation coming through. Mary's positioning, though, makes things very interesting. Because if she spots them starting to wrap back around, she might be able to win this round. But they've gone in opposite directions. Still a lurk there for Gia as well, which... I imagine her steps will eventually be heard if this push continues to come through. And then Sephia has managed to make it into the opponent spawn. This doesn't look like a match in the moment. This looks like a DM. Oh, a glance going down. This is really blurring the lines of attack and defense. They found Petra thanks to the trade. But this flank from Mary. I, I, there is no way that you can expect this if you're now be the ult going down. The focus shifts, and that's when Mary strikes, taking one, taking two. Her third of the round. Rita having to make a big clutch happen yet again, all alone this time. She's hit by that seize. Swinging in, taking Petra down, but the res has come through. We said it might take place. Now it's the only hope of G2. And the timer, it's already ticked too far. I don't know how she's done it, but Rita has seized another round for Navi. Yeah, they've been so desperately close over the last few, but these clutch rounds are going to... Oh, let's see if she can do it this time around. Uh, I don't think maybe having enough of what has been happening to her. Already looking to try and peek in throughout the door. And, oh, it's not far away. Gia will get away with it. Doesn't seem like that's the stop of the aggression, though. Giuliano looking for this pick. The thing is, they are patiently holding a default now on Na'Vi because they are so ready for these plays. They are watching every avenue of the map. Trade fairly evenly. Proxima losing a little bit more health, I guess, but not losing her life is definitely a start. The jumping for Petra is spotted, but not caught. D2 start to rotate. A lot of bodies moving to B. Navi put a trap behind. Two players still towards their spawn. I mean, this is a really slow rotation around with 40 seconds left. And G2 seems spooked by that. Yeah, the speed being this delayed, it's already caused the rotation to begin. It's caused Petra to go out looking for a bit of extra information, and they were ready and waiting, taking that kill. Court of Four is going to be activated. Nightfall put through. And on top of that, a Viper's Pit, the plant here practically guaranteed. Giuliano forced back. This team's going to have a really rough retake ahead of them. I mean, the plant hasn't gone down yet. Yeah, that's the thing. that They are running out of time to do it. Thankfully, it will come through, but the damage is already being done on the other side. The spam is going to catch another, and they've just got rid of the pit. It's left all on to GSG, still watching for the flank. She needs some crazy headshots to win this one through, and they even have a Cosmic Divide on the other side. It is going to be a 6-6 six, six, half, a back and forth all the way through, and some of the closest rounds I think we've seen probably in Game Changers history. The only worry I have is that I feel like at the moment they need Juliana to just be going nuclear at all times. Yeah. Otherwise, a lot of these rounds don't seem to go their way, and they're going to need her in this one again. This mid-aggression, but she's in a solid spot. First one goes her way. Ooh, it's not quite pretty. I didn't want to dismiss out of there, it seems. So, isn't going to be able to take the fight. Her teammates, though, have already got onto this a site. Yeah, they're a little hesitant to plant, wanting to get a nice spot for a... Moving towards the defender spawn. You can see the defenders have the same idea. They're on their way into this head, Hunter, but none of the shots bar the first connect. And the trade back keeps Navi in favor. Six to six, the pistol carries so much weight, and Glance carries that weight alone. The right click's not working. Reload on, tries to put down a star with 57 HP. A right click's enough for Proxima to take her out. And the defuse follows. Navi win the pistol, and so the lead is once again theirs. Yeah, there's always a part of me, though, when I see that many kills in a plant, 
expect Navi should keep this one relatively clean. Well, that's looking at the buy, looking at the teams in play. You never know. G2 have done a lot of damage with less. That's why Navi are being so cautious. Holding their angles, holding their zones, and that's all they're up to for now. Uh, the only player that's moving around a fair bit is Safia, but she's found her pixel peak now. Utility has got to be used by G2 to try and force some players out of position, and that has worked perfectly. Pulling Sephia in, baiting her. Oh. They've taken down Gia on A. That was a ranged kill, the headhunter being used in this guardian-like state, and now Navi are on the back foot, and they're starting to face off against weapons as well as G2 retrieve some of the fall and SMGs. Rita again wants to save the round, and she's buying time for the flank. This is good. They've got them sectioned in. They know exactly where they are. That is clean as can be with Mimi. One versus three. Three shots in the head, Hunter. And that is all she wrote. A really good recovery, and a lot of that, again, coming down to just Rita's individual brilliance again in this round. Doesn't even take that much damage, just uses her utility as a distraction and holds them in place ready. If she recreates that, we're looking at an easy 30 bomb for her in this, but I do feel like that's easier said than done. Giuliano on her way towards B. You can see this duel about to take place any moment now. River may have the timing. Swinging out on that pixel. Waiting. And there... Oh, a jump peek, actually. Flash going out moments later. No swing on the back of it. A little disjointed from Navi, but they've avoided giving anything away. They've spotted the push coming through. The decision here, you know, they've spotted a few of you. Are they realistically still going to push in here versus the eco? Oh, okay. A trade to start. I think the trap being broken as well now will start to put some doubt in the minds of the remaining players. They don't have that cover into Link anymore, and they're going to aggress elsewhere. But G2 seem to have the read. Rita caught out. And now a lot of this will come down to Gia. And unfortunately, she's one of the players who only has a pistol. Honestly, even a kill here would be more than I think you can expect from this sort of position. Oh, well, there's one kill. And she's gotten out. Calls the distraction. Ten seconds left. Nades down. That's doing damage. Quite a lot of it. Mary out of there on 25 HP. Only barely surviving. A heal not online either. This certainly isn't looking too clean. Navi, remember, they've got two weapons to play with here and an SMG just getting recovered. The G2 definitely not going to have an easy time when it comes to these fights, but the time seems to be on their side at this point. Three versus two, three versus one. There's a dismiss. There's the value, Tom. That's what we want to see. Couldn't do that with any other agent. You got to put it on the other side that's making noise and it's a whole shebang, you know? It's, it's about how smooth it can be. Ah, okay. A versatile. That's why we've seen I, it I once can't wait for, in 15 for the rounds. Mitch versus <laughs> Lothar boxing match, which is going to be coming up. Uh, Lothar just doesn't get us uh, highbrow Reina players. I reckon understand. he would obliterate you I, in, in a fight. I think so. I, I, I think first round, like within like 20 seconds. Well, no. I think I, I could at least like run in a circle. For, for Run! Come on. Come on now, man. Come on. Hop in a circle. <laughs> I can roll around a bit, okay? I'm hard to hit. <laughs> oh, no. Proxima. Great reveal coming out of Petra. She gets the reward of the kill. And they've got the sight now, basically. What's Gia's plan? A star down, but teammates so far away. It's going to be the stun, but with the wall down, that's a free plan. Can't use that. Ready. Trades back and forth. Utility removed. Oh, it may not matter though. Petra stepping up to the plate. Juliana went down early, but it seems like she may not be missed. And she's just gonna kill everyone. Petra with the ace. As one falls, another rises up. And G2 
and swinging into the site, ensuring that as they drop out to retake some control to clear out the back of site that they hadn't yet taken, that they weren't getting it for free. Giuliano healing up after, up to 150. Looking for more of a fight, and she's got it. But Rita's planted one right in her head. Five HP left, and it's more than enough. Navi recovering a weapon. But they might have to recover the disadvantage, says Buggy. Yeah. Oh, flank gonna be covered. Juliano, even though she goes down, still holds the rotation for quite a long time, and... As we said, weaponry in this round is not fantastic. You can't really expect much from Na'Vi here. Can they do any damage? Can they remove some guns, maybe steal one for theirself? Rita so low, she's just going to sacrifice. Try and give her teammates something. Flash goes out, but they can only move through this slowly, so not really the, the fast peak you're really going to desire. <laughs> Winning impossible, but maybe she could drop another gun. Well, she's done that. But I think even off time, this round yeah. is already forfeit. She's going to start to move away now. Eight, eight rounds for Navi, nine for G2. You know, this lead back in G2's hands... I don't feel like Liana decides in that last fight, for example, to just dismiss. She sees more players. I imagine that's more what they'll think about in terms of uh, avoiding getting destroyed on some of these duels. They have stacked up the two players. Mimi holding the angle with her, waiting. Same thing happening over on A long, the smoke down. Glance inside it. And two on the other side. It's a massacre. On both sides of the map, the fights go down, and it's Navi coming ahead. Proxima holding down B long all by herself. A glance nice. hasn't survived. A gorgeous double peek to put Petra in a 1v3. She's nowhere near the spike. Ah, also aware. You can see the position currently being held. I don't know if Petra even checks this. Oh, half check. Oh, that's. Oh, no way! Oh, that might be the whip of the century. I don't ever want to see that again. Don't show me the POV. Don't, don't show me the POV. Please. Please. I'm closing my eyes. Play. This thing's happening. Oh, they won the round. That's the most important thing. Tour de force for Mimi. Scoreline equalized. Marita, still a little bit low in terms of cash. It's going to be down to the Guardian here. Viper's Pit has been used in mid. The thing is, they can just bypass it and go straight towards R, but it seems like that's exactly what Na'Vi want them to do. They've got three players stacked on this side, and Sephia already spotting them. It means they can now gamble a little bit more to bolster up this spot. I mean, Na'Vi have a... Uh deep amount of information right now, and they're going to confirm it. Yield going through has caught a few. I think two on mid. No, oh, it hasn't got Giuliano, but... but... Just the two players seen. The rotation towards B. Still have that... 30 seconds left. Chamber of River lurking around, waiting for them, but that cosmic divide has actually ruined her position. She can try to swing through and fire off, but that's a big risk. Proxima taking one of her own. They've taken out Giuliano. That's serving like a distraction. Okay, Petra watching for behind. Overrun. And, uh, well, again, the lines of attack and defense are blurred. Yeah. Ma Mary at least wins the battle on the side. That's probably the more important one. It means they can aggress forward, and Sefi is actually the only player on this side. They don't check for glance. She manages to get the drop on them after two players being spotted on site. They assumed it was all three. And the Astra seemingly putting this one to bed, although Sethia is still battling back. It's not going to last for long. Again, an opportunity to take the lead for Na'Vi once. And yet the snake in the grass is able to bite 10 to 9. Advantage to G2 and disadvantage for Na'Vi doubled up on by the fact that they're on pistols. I'm trying to make something happen here, and well, it's Rita, so I, you're damn right I believe in it. 
Unfortunately, only the one kill. And then a res. Oh, hello. Going to be happy that they use that res now. No, they're up against the Tour de Force. And that Tour de Force is sprinting to get back into position. The wall could potentially have some vision over the top of it, but it seems like everybody on G2 is perfectly aware of that. Not going to be giving any angles up. They are, however, going to get spotted by the knife. So there should be knowledge that they could be this aggressive. But of course, not a lot to play with here. Petra also spotting the flank from Proxima. And big judgment called by the Decay as well. It leaves River alone and not this time. Four players stand. G2 edge ever closer to their weapons. Here. All online. Some ultis coming through. But a loss here, no money for next, and G2 steam into the lead. Mimi already spotted one. Rita, though, great position behind the wall. Both players serving to get that kill together. As Navi find the advantage, no need for further aggression now. I'll be falling back on B long and Sefia just holding the control here. She gets greedy and goes out. Glance is waiting, and that's a costly kill. There. Little bit. How... How have G2 got here? They've just walked through mid. There was nothing holding it anymore. And because of that, you can see they're actually reclaiming this ground a little later. So it almost sells the idea that no one has managed to get this far. You can see Rita, though, seems to have an idea that this was a possibility, especially with the deep push all the way through. They're almost selling false information. Like, okay, they're not on A. They must be going in a different direction. Instead, they're actually doubling their way back through. The only way this goes wrong would be if the spike went in the other way. And while with R, I think, clear, they're not going to do that. Yeah, I think we were about to send a report. If uh, Glance was, <laughs> was swinging down into the spawn, she could have met the same fate Petra just did. Going down, Giuliano follows Ooh. suit. Three kills for Rita. She is determined to hold on to this upper spot. Gia on another, and it's left to Mary. One versus four. Sure, damage has been done, but that's a lot of guns firing in her direction. And the second player will be the one to close the round. Navi, they've held on. They've hit double digits, and they're hot on G2's heels. Yeah, real good recovery. And I think just slowly working out where everything... Again, it, you've got to give credit to Rita. Not only finding the kill onto Petra, and it was basically only her rotating through the spawn that gave them any inkling as to where this was going to be going because of the amount of ground that was lost. Her realization, her adaptation, and they've got their Nightfall, one of the only really impactful ults that they have, and it's online. This could be a swing round. And with River already taking down Petra, G2. They'll feel that pressure build. Navi still have the possibility of taking this map in regulation and playing like this. I mean, sure, the, the opening duel is good, but I'm waiting until Rita has to say every round seems to be defined by her. This one, though, will be defined by the players on a long... Proxima and Gia together looking to hold this down. And if they stay around this area, they're going to have four enemies coming their way. The whole enemy team, at least the remainder of it. And that swing, that information that comes at the cost of Gia's life. You want to fight it? Oh, no command is at least going to remove the utility. <gasps> and, oh my, okay. That's... Probably the fastest cleanup of a four versus four I've ever seen. In the series. It's on the back of Navi to answer with a yes. 11 to 11. The push out on mid. That has lost Sefi the duel. That's not the first time that we've seen. Seen this, but it might be the first we see Proxima fight so early on. She's dodged the Prowler. That could be huge. Yeah, damage was done as well. Petron just 2 HP. But again, they're taking this control. Rita has read this perfectly, but again, the fight not quite going away. Now, this time, there is no heal, and this wraparound on the flank could be perfect. Both players desperately low, and she'll be able to clear out both of them. 
The ASAC, however, has fallen in response. It seems like, again, with these fake pushes from Giuliano, but this time she brought a friend. Oh, the timing for Gia couldn't be worse. She looked away. And Mimi was able to take her down the three versus two. Here. Now in play, advantage for G2, stacked up close, ready for this. Proxima takes down the first, but Mimi already being in this corner. It's hard to anticipate, hard to expect, and well, even harder to deal with. River is alone. Decision here of whether to save this or not, and it looks like not right into the fray, and Mimi's waiting. Operator on the floor, a choice. And G2 decide not to bring it through to this last round of regulation. Surprise. 12 to 11, still a purchase in, and we're right back to this aggressive stance towards this B site. They're waiting for Juliano's peak, and well, she is going to get tagged up, but doesn't lose her life this time. Oh, lifeline for G2 in a round that could knock Navi down to the lower bracket. The operator of River resets. A little further back on B and Rita. Not happy with the result of that opening duel. Puts one on the board for herself. It's Giuliano gone. Top fragger for G2. But we've seen many more heroes step up in their stead. 55 seconds left on the clock. G2 need to make a move now. And it looks like the A side is once again the target. Face your fear! Utilized the nightfall and it really hasn't found too much. I have this fight. Might sell the idea that this is clearer than it is. And with Mary going down, OT is looking more and more likely by the second. Petra, though, desperately trying to fight things back. Glance within the site. Getting a plant here is not going to be easy. Needs almost a bodyguard to make sure that nobody can pressure onto her while she's going for this. Still got time to play with at least a bit. 20 seconds on that clock, and she's been revealed at the back. Hit up by the utility. Ooh. A single shot connected, but the trade is instantaneous. And Glance is stuck, but Mimi's found two. Again, somehow out of nowhere, a hero arises. She's had a quieter game so far, but if she puts this to bed, she's not going to mind. It's on to Rita, though. The clutch queen within this game. So many high impact rounds and into the one versus one, but may not know where Glance has managed to sneak to. She was on the site the entire time. She was sat back. The one who planted, in fact, Aunt. and now has managed to cross over onto the other side. That clock ticking down. But now she's going to get herself that little bit of information, knowing exactly where she is. That's all she really needed. And now just that single shot to take them to OT. But it isn't going to happen. Again, G2 dig deep exactly when it's needed. And they will make another grand final. Oh, impressive stuff from G2. That winning moment there, Seenhunt.